little more than a TRT dose yeah. the entire time, pretty much. Nick Walker speaks his crazy off-season cycle, his most overrated PEDs, and why he's bringing his best to the Olympia. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video, and today we're discussing Nick Walker on the latest episode of a HD Muscle podcast featuring James Hollingshead, Nick Walker himself, Antoine Valiant, and Justin Shire joins him partway through. And Nick had some pretty interesting things to say on this podcast. And one thing that surprised me and is sort of a highlight of this video, but he also talks about some really other interesting things as well. So I suggest you guys listen to the end of the episode, but he talks about his PED usage in his off season. What he had to say might surprise you guys. So let's listen in to what Nick Walker had to say. I just, I just think that one thing we did this off season that really helped us prep was, uh, you know, we didn't kill food. We didn't feel like we had to push the food extremely high. Um, other stuff, other supplementation, we didn't really go crazy on whatsoever. Um, I literally, I would say probably did like a little more than a TRT dose yeah. the entire time, pretty much. So that's pretty crazy to say if he used a little more than a TRT dose the entire time, pretty much. So for the most part of his off season, he was using a little bit more than a TRT dose. And he made some pretty good improvements too. He's going to be coming in a lot bigger to the Mr. Olympia. There was talk about his weight, but a little bit earlier in the prep. And he doesn't want to talk about his weight now, he said in this podcast. So he's going to be considerably bigger. The estimate was about 17 pounds compared to the Arnold Classic in 2023 to what he actually estimated he would be on stage at the Olympia this year. So if he's 17 pounds bigger, he's gunning for the same condition. If he can bring that same condition, which I think was close to Samson Dowder, not in terms of conditioning, in terms of just the overall contest, I think he was close to Samson Dowder at that Arnold Classic. I had Samson winning, but I had it close between him and Nick Walker. So if that's close to Samson and he's 17 pounds bigger, does that supersede what Samson's bringing? Because if he's able to do that and make those changes on doing a little bit more than a TRT dosage, it's pretty crazy. And it's even crazier with what you hear later in this video as well with uh, his opinion on a few other things. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Nick Walker used a little more than a TRT dosage in his off-season between the Arnold Classic and the Mr. Olympia. And let's listen on to what else Nick had to say. So we didn't really push anything, but like the new training that I was doing with, you know, Jared with the RP Strength, um, I just think it really allowed me to pull pull back training, but add frequency, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah, sure. And I just think that a lot, like it also kept me leaner. It got, allowed me to grow faster. Um, and then, you know, I finally got the CPAP, which I think helped my recovery and everything tremendously, which yeah. has helped me this entire prep. Um, so I just think, you know, without overdoing everything, this prep, it's allowed a better look going into yeah. this. So yeah, I think. So he's increased his training frequency, but he's actually pulled back with his training. I don't know if he means he's pulled back in terms of intensity with his training and he's training at a lower intensity now, but more frequently. I've heard John Meadows talk about this and many others in terms of actually increasing, you know, sometimes guys increase their volume and they pull back on the intensity a little bit. And there's a million different ways to train, but it seems like Nick's actually taking it back a little bit with his training in terms of, you know, the overall intensity and maybe how much he does, but training more frequently. So there's more opportunities to push nutrient, nutrients through the muscles and things like this. And that's what Mil Sarchev has famously talked about as well. So... I think Nick sort of pulled back on things a little bit to actually step forward. And this is something that Nick trains year round. He's not a Ronnie Coleman from back when he was winning Mr. Olympias where Ronnie would compete, take three months off and then start nine months out of the Olympia or maybe take four months off. Kevin Lavroni would take six months off. There's numerous guys that take these amounts of time off. And 
I think for these guys, at a certain point, yeah, it does benefit the body. Your body's fresher when you come back. And maybe Nick hasn't had that time. So just pulling back a bit between comps and taking a little bit easier on his body compared to what he's doing for the Arnold Classic prep, where he was pushing down hard. It sounds like he's able to still eat a decent amount of food right now while still pushing down. And his body's just dropping body fat really efficiently. And I think he's going to be much bigger at the Mr. Olympia than he was earlier in the year at the Arnold Classic, partly due to sort of just taking the stress off his body and actually bringing that cortisol down and putting his body in a better place to actually prep. And it seems like his body's responding from it, but let's listen on to a few other things about his most overrated PEDs. Matt, personally, he doesn't use it. I've never used insulin, mm. actually. Have you ever used insulin? With no, and a lot of people don't. I know, yeah. yeah. Neil, Neil Hill doesn't like it. I've spoke to Neil a lot of times. Um, Patrick was very moderate. Like, he might say, peak off-season, maybe five I use here and there, and it was that was it. And then... As soon as you prep, yeah, no fucking insulin. So you guys might have noticed there that Justin actually asked Nick Walker, he said, have you ever used insulin with Matt, being Matt Jansen, who's Nick's and Justin's coach? And Nick shook his head. So he's never used insulin while being coached by Matt Jansen. I don't know if Nick uses it at other times or what, but he doesn't use insulin. And I thought he probably would be being a top IFB pro bodybuilder and being the sheer size that Nick is. And we've seen with, you know, Mel Sarchev, who's coaching James Hollingshead right now, he's a huge fan and a huge proponent of insulin compared to some other PEDs, but obviously they're sort of all in the mix. But anyway, let's listen on to another one that Nick actually says he thinks is overrated. Let, well. me, ask, let me ask you guys a, a question since we're on yeah, the topic. Yeah, for sure. This is for everyone. I think me and Justin actually had a little bit of this convo on the side the other day. Mm -hmm. Do you think growth is an overrated drug? I uh, it, it kind of is, but it's just so like, weird. Would because... you like if someone if 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 let's just say Milo said, you know what? I know he wouldn't because that's not his style. But he was like, we're not using it at all. Would that? Would panic. you be like? Cool, I wouldn't panic at all. Or would no. you feel weird about it? Yeah. No, no insulin and growth I hormone. Always, I wouldn't feel weird at all. I always Me tell neither. guys like you know I, I have clients that like want to start fucking growth, and I'm just mm. like, you guys don't accept expect fireworks. It's not like mm. introducing anabolics where you're going to see some. So this leaves me wondering, Nick saying that he thinks growth is overrated, at least for the price, does Nick Walker use GH? I mean, I would assume he would. Obviously, you're going to cross your T's and dot your I's and do everything to look as good as possible if you're going for the Mr. Olympia title. Does he use it? Does he use a small amount? It's very interesting, but let's listen on to what else he had to say, and this might give you a bit more of an answer if he is or not. Change well, the, body, the thing right? is... I agree. I agree. And I think the thing is the, the results versus the price ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I also feel like that's, it's just, you know, dep of course everything has done a certain way. Right. But mm -hmm. I think growth is just another way to blunt your sensitivity. For sure. Exactly. So that's so why, why, exactly. why? And then, and then that's when people add in other drugs, like, you know, yep. a lot of, a lot of T3 or insulin. It's, it's, it's like, for what? You know, if you're, yeah. Yeah. and that's the thing, I get why certain people do. I'm not going to say it's not, you know, whatever, but. So he says he gets why certain people do it. So to me, that makes it sound like Nick Walker doesn't use growth. So he doesn't use growth, doesn't use insulin. And then in his off season was using a little bit more of a TRT dose. I don't know if that's just test or if it's test and other things, but at a very small amount, I'm not, not a hundred percent sure exactly what that entails, but that's, very impressive and leads me to think that if that's the case and Nick's growing like he did on just a little bit over a TIT dose of testosterone, then maybe Nick has no myostatin because this guy's been able to improve even while prepping for Arnold Classics and Olympias. He's had a relatively short off season and if he's going to be what he thinks he's going to be on stage and be 17 pounds bigger, as he sort of predicted earlier in his prep, then it leads me to think that maybe he is my statin deficient. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Do you think Nick Walker can win the 2023 Mr. Olympia? I think he can. I can see a world where Nick Walker wins this contest. And if he is 17 pounds bigger, same condition as the 2023 Arnold Classic, I think that could potentially get it done. But is it good enough to beat a Derek Lunsford, a Samson Dowda, a Hardy Chupin, a Brandon Curry, and Andrew Jack to Hunter Labrada? Let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. 
That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, including all my 2023 Mr. Olympia coverage where I'll have lives, previews, post shows, whole heap of stuff. So make sure you do subscribe. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. My name is Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out. <laughs>